Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to see how to integrate Databricks with GitHub. Like how actually we work in a real time, right? Where we try to integrate Databricks with GitHub. In this particular video, we are going to see with practically. So let's start. So I open my Databricks account. And before to that, I have also created my GitHub account. If you haven't created a GitHub, what actually you can do? You can go into the Google and you can search for the GitHub account create. It's very simple. You just have to do a sign up and your GitHub will be ready. Once you will log into the GitHub, you will see this screen. Starting, you will not see any kind of the repository. What we will do? We will try to create a repository. So I am going to create one repository. Click on this new. And here I will give the name as a Databricks integration something I will give you can give any name. So this is the one I am giving After that if you want to create any kind of the file So I will just create one readme file with that file actually the repository will be created This is the repository it got created now suppose what actually we will do from a Databricks if you are working on any project all the notebook we will try to push into this particular Databricks any kind of the projects you are doing you what actually you can do you can push into this repository and here only it will be available so this is the one repository we have created after that so in a readme right uh, let me try to write something uh, if you want to write anything you have to click on the edit this file hello hello world something i am writing and i will just do a commit commit changes so what will happen hello world will be available so this is the location databricks integration hello world is available now what we will do we will try to integrate databricks so i open my databricks account now what actually we are going to do we are going to link databricks with a github we are going to link databricks with github so what you have to do first go to the here click on this click on the setting we have to link so click on the link account and click on the add git credential so there are two options one is a link git account one is personal access token so if you have a access token available you can pass username and the token but we are going to use a link git account if you click on the link what actually it will do it is going to automatically link databricks with github because i have already logged in with my email id right so it's directly going to link but sometimes it may ask you for the username and password that you have to pass and then it will link so you can see it has integrated with a github account and you can see all the credential here this is the first step we have to do after that what actually we are going to do go to the workspace in this workspace uh, in this workspace we are going to create one folder we are going to create one folder so click on the workspace once i will click on the workspace right i am going to create one folder create a folder you can give any name so let me give the name as a uh, databricks practice practice something you can give any name databricks practice and after that click on the create now what actually we want we want to access this particular repo means all the files whatever the file is available here right we just want to access from our databricks itself so what i will do i'll click on the create i'll click on the git folder once you will click on that right it will ask the git repository so for this repository if you will click on the code and if you will click here it will ask for the copy url so click on the copy url and pass here once you will pass here it will you can see databricks integration this is the folder name right so this url is pointing to this particular repo and if you will click on the create git folder what actually it will happen it's going to access whatever the repository you have in a github from a Git databricks itself so you can see i am able to access from here itself and whatever the file readme file is available here right i can access from databricks itself now if any changes you have to do here right uh, you can do that but one thing you have to remember here you can see main branch so as of now you can see here it is a main branch so what is a main branch main branch is something like where all your production code is available as of now we are doing a testing right but generally if you see in a company right you will see so many notebook so many codes will be available which so many developer has worked on that so what actually you have to do main branch is the branch where all your codes will be available you cannot directly do any changes in a main branch what you have to do you have to create your own branch and on that particular branch you have to do a changes and then you have to raise a pull request that's how actually we work so suppose in readme.md i have to do some changes 
so directly i cannot do changes here what i will do i will create a new branch here click on this click on the create branch you can go into the setting first and you can see git credential here you can pass the github credential this is the git credential that is the first changes you have to do click on the save here you have to select the git credential come here click on as of now we have a main branch based on the main branch means in the main branch whatever the code is there right based on that i want to create a new branch i'll give the branch name as a uh, new changes i want to do a new changes right so this is the new branch i am creating and i will click on the create uh, make sure space it, it shouldn't contain the space i will give the name as a, a new changes something new changes click on the create so this is the new branch we are going to create based on the main branch so you can see this kind of the error generally comes database github installation page what you have to do you have to click here first time you will see this error there are few installation we have to do database github app come here and uh, it will ask for which repository you want to access for all the repository only the select repository you want to access for that you have to install it so i will just click on the for all the repository i want to install it i'll just click on the install and once you will do this once you will come here and after that if you click on the create uh, we want to create a new branch right new changes this is a new branch click on the create what will happen new branches will be created new branches should be created you can see new branches is created now click on the save so what generally we do we try to create a new branch as of now it is in main branch but uh, we have created a new new changes right this is the branch so uh, let me change into the why actually it is not coming new changes branch uh, we should refresh it then it will reflect if i'll refresh it it should reflect as a new changes so now i am in new changes branch i am not in main branch always remember we don't do any kind of the changes in a main branch we create our own branch how actually you can create your own branch you have to click here you have to click here suppose based on this main branch right based on the uh, main branch suppose based on this main branch i want to create a new branch so click on the create and uh, you can create any branch so i will create a one branch name as a test click on the create what will happen one test branch will be created one test branch will be created and in this particular branch only you have to do a changes you have to do a changes i am in the test branch now suppose if you want to do any changes i want to create a notebook suppose let me create a new notebook now this is a notebook i have created now suppose here uh, i will give the na name as a first notebook and uh, here i just want to do a print hello world print world world so and this i want as a python notebook this i want a python notebook so as of now i am in a test branch as of now i am in a test branch only so this is a new notebook i have created now if i'll go into the workspace again so now you can see in a test branch we have created a new new notebook as a first now this particular notebook is not available into this right but this part, suppose this is the notebook which you have created you have written a pyspark code and this actually you want to push into the production you have to click here first it will show you what all the changes so this is the new notebook right a it is showing like added what we have to do we have to commit so new changes done this we have to do we have to click on the commit and push once you click on the commit and push right this is the this is the changes we have done now if you come into the our github right it is saying like this has recent push if you want to raise a pull request click on the compare and pull request once you will click on the compare and pull request suppose any of the admin who who actually approve this review right you want to add any review you can add a review from here you have to click on the create pull request click on the create pull request so this is the one pull request uh, which we have raised now what the admin will do admin will check this admin will check this if these are the changes which uh, you have done right 
as of now it is showing in dot ipynb that's why it sells and all actually it is showing uh, so if admin check and if this all the changes is correct so what actually he will do he will just merge it how uh, square and merge click on that square and merge what will happen this changes will be merged into the main now if you come to the uh, databricks integration in a github whatever you can see first dot ipo and this file is available this file is available 